My name is Benjamin Crotty, and my film is Fort Buchanan, which is about love, the army, and spouses. <laughs> Just um, like... <laughs> very colloquial, yeah, very smooth, <laughs> Andrew. <Sliding into it. laughs> um, and how did you get the idea for the movie to, to shoot a movie about, well, the partners of men that are in the army? Um, well, there's kind of like a sh short term and a long term answer. Thank you. Um, the I'm from Spokane, Washington, which is like a town of 200,000 people in Washington State. And um, there's a big Air Force base in that town. And when I was a kid, I was in this theater troupe that would perform on this uh, base. And so when I was a kid, I was kind of intrigued by this Air Force base, because uh, I don't know, I, don't, I guess they're the same in Germany, but in the US, there's like gates and everything's cut off. And there's also like the same kind of house, like everyone has the same house. And there's different schools and like shops. And so I was kind of like intrigued by this like little world. Um, and then more recently, um, I was watching um, this like show on Lifetime TV, which is like kind of, there's like a soap opera set among um, like spouses of people in the army. So I was also intrigued by kind of like this more recent like cultural production around hmm. this theme. Yeah, I mean, what you're more showing than the world of the army is actually showing the world of the spouses that meet when the men are abroad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how, how did you get to this step then by this TV show? Was that the, the triggering idea? Yeah, and I think um, like, for example, I have two brothers who are in the Army Reserves, and, like, I myself am not in the Army, so <laughs> I feel like I have a more, like, I have a better understanding of, like, the domestic side of, of like, the Army. And also, um, the show interested me because, like, in the U.S., you know, like, if there are two big industries, they're probably, like, Hollywood and the Army. So I think it's quite the sh interesting... Uh, like cultural production that is about the army, like how they present it and things like that. So I think the show kind of interest, interested me in that respect. It was kind of like a mix of like Sex in the City and like a show about the army. Cause it was, so I was, it's like a weird mix of entertainment and like patri patriotism in, mm. in this show. Um, well, at the core of your movie, there's also a gay couple. Um, the idea for that did not come from the don't ask, don't tell rule and the end of that. Was that any influence or did that have any influence on making the movie? Um, I think the movie, like, in, in the movie everyone's sexuality is treated as like very banal. Like, a, no one really, there's never really any issues about, it's just like the way it is. So I think, um, I was think I People always ask me like when this movie's like set, and I think it's almost like ambiguous because obviously it's in a post "Don't Ask, Don't Tell" world because like no one has any problems with this like couple. Um, so I'm sorry, your question was just like if if it was about. My question was if that had any influence on the movie. Um, yeah, I think I think it's definitely like a post "Don't Ask, mm -hmm. Don't Tell" movie. Uh, yeah, because I was surprised when you showed them in Djibouti. It was actually very obvious that it was a gay couple, but no one cared. Also, the other soldiers didn't care. And so yeah, yeah. I was asking myself if this was still realistic or if this was also a bit utopian. Um, well, I think it's also, like, for example, I don't, I don't know. It also gets into questions like, what is the end goal like, of like acceptance like is it to be like in the army <laughs> like because like, maybe maybe it's like you know it's still could could have questions about that um but so i think um anyways def it's definitely a conceit of the film that it's a world in which like gay couples can be like really like the there's the character of frank who is in the army and then his spouse roger <laughs> Roger and Roger is also like an extremely conservative character like he was a virgin until he got married and he's like very devoted to his child he like quit working to like stay at home so there's a lot of like attributes that are like the I don't encounter those very frequently in like the gay community yet so maybe in the future so 
more than just in terms of like the army, I think it's also in terms of like behaviors and goals and values. They're they're somewhat different for like the characters in the movie. Mm. So maybe it's maybe it's like the way things will be in like fifty years, and like maybe it's progress or maybe it's regression. <laughs> I don't know, but um, yeah, it's definitely just different, dif- a different like paradigm in in the film. Mm. And concerning the sexuality of the women, I had the feeling that that was something that was very fluid. Like, yeah, it could go into one direction, but also in the other, it was very. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, I think the, for example, going back to Roger, Roger's like definitely like I'm a homosexual married man. Like, there's no ambiguity in his identity. But the women are like really pragmatic. Um, like, they all of them, their husbands are like stationed abroad. So, for example, there's the there's a young Roger's daughter in the film. They all like try to, they have like a competition, like who can seduce this girl and. I think it's mostly just like a very pragmatic. They like need to get some action, and like they live in a very remote community, and she's there. So yeah, their identity is really. They just like make kind of yeah make do with whatever is around them. You said that you are also showing conservative behavior, conservative values in the movie, and then on the other hand, you have, for example, the fluidity of the sexuality of the women. And how far would you say that your movie is a queer movie? Um, I always I, I always have a difficult time establishing exactly what a queer movie is. Can you enlighten? Can you get? Unfortunately, <laughs> I can't because I think I'm in the same position as you yeah. are. Um, I think it is something that is not a stable concept, but also something that can change. Mm. Um, so it's always to a certain point also up to the interpretation of the person who uses this, uses the term I think mm. so I, my question rather is would you say that it's okay for you to apply the term queer to your movie or would you in your understanding of the word say no it's not a queer movie um, well I mean I have to say that like everyone has described this movie as a queer movie so <laughs> it's probably like a queer movie uh, I, I've I've said before, like, for example, I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily know if it's, like, productive to use that term, like, um, like, I've, I've cited this example, for example, like, my mom is, like, a pretty, like, conservative woman, and I think if, if I was like, hey, mom, like, let's go see this queer movie, she would find that to be, like, an intimidating word, or, like, somehow, or, like, exclusive, and so I don't know if, uh, I don't know if it's necessarily, like, I don't know the most like productive way to describe the movie, but that's probably different from I don't know your actual question, which is more about like, the <laughs> content. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm like I like don't really know. <laughs> that's all right. Either way, your movie is screening at the Queer Film Festival here. What are your expectations for the first screening? How do you think will the audience react to your movie, or what what do you hope for? Well, I'm actually I'm actually pretty curious about the reaction because it's only screened in one other queer festival, and um, which was in Ukraine, and it was a I actually I wasn't at that screening, so this is the first time I'll be showing it to like a in a specifically like queer context. So I'm cu- I'm curious like um, what the reactions will be because um, I'm sh- I think they'll I think they'll probably be pretty different. Um, so. And I think the questions will probably be more focused. Yeah. Different from the reactions you had so far? Yeah, well, I feel like for pe- people in a non-queer context, when they see any kind of queer content, they're, like, they're afraid to criticize it because they feel like it'll be like an anti-politically correct gesture. <laughs> but obviously, like, in this context, people will be very comfortable criticizing it. So I think people will probably be more comfortable having a critical discussion about the film, mm-hmm. I'm guessing, which is great. Well, <laughs> then I wish you a lot of fun here at the film festival, a lot of fun with the first screening and interesting discussions afterwards. Yeah, and thank you. Thank you very much for the interview. Sure, my pleasure.